So students, our next question is question number 86. Among the sets of reactant, which one produces any zone? The first option is acetaldehyde and Grignard reagent. Second option is phenol, NaOH and methyl iodide. Third option is given phenol and neutral ferric chloride. Fourth option is given toluene and acetyl chloride in presence of aluminium chloride. So see, we have to produce anisole. Anisole is this compound, benzene ring attached with OCH3 group. So here the given product is ether and ethers can be prepared by Williamson synthesis. So in order to prepare this ether, we must select sodium phenoxide plus methyl iodide. The smaller group should be from alkyl halide and the larger part should be from phenoxide. So correct option is second option. First we treat phenol with NaOH, it is converted into sodium phenoxide and when this is treated with methyl iodide, nucleophilic substitution will take place, reaction will proceed via SN2 mechanism resulting in the formation of anisole. So correct answer is second one. Next question is question number 87. Which of the following will not be soluble in sodium hydrogen carbonate? First option is given 246 trinitrophenol. Second option is benzoic acid. Third option is orthonitrophenol. And fourth option is benzene sulfonic acid. We know that sodium hydrogen carbonate is used as a test for carboxylic acid. It means all carboxylic acid when treated with sodium hydrogen carbonate, they evolve carbon dioxide gas that is known as effervescence of CO2 is coming out. It means in all the four options, the compound which is acidic in nature, it will give a positive test with sodium bicarbonate. Since sulfonic acid is a stronger acid than benzoic acid, so this stronger acid will also react with sodium bicarbonate. Third is 246 trinitrophenol. However, phenol itself does not react with sodium bicarbonate. But when three nitro groups are attached with phenol, its acidic strength is more than any of the carboxylic acid. So this is known as picric acid and picric acid also gives effervescence with sodium bicarbonate. The remaining option is orthonitrophenol. Neither phenol nor mononitrophenol reacts with sodium hydrogen carbonate. So this compound will not react sodium bicarbonate. It means it will not soluble in sodium bicarbonate. So correct option is option 3. Our next question is question number 88, which is most reactive towards nucleophilic addition reaction. The first option is benzaldehyde, second option is ketone, third option is methyl benzaldehyde, fourth option is para nitro benzaldehyde. Now in this question it is mentioned that nucleophilic addition reaction. Nucleophilic addition reaction is a characteristic property of aldehydes and ketone and mainly it depends upon a steric factor. It means if a steric hindrance around carbonyl group is more, the reactivity of given compound will be least. So in all these four options, a steric hindrance around carbonyl group is maximum in case of ketone. So ketones are less reactive than any of the aldehyde. But these three options are having equal steric hindrance around the carbon atom. So here the reactivity towards nucleophilic addition reaction will be compared on the basis of positive charge on carbon atom. You can see that methyl group is electron donating group. 
Electron donating group increases electron density around the carbonyl group. It means they decreases the reactivity towards addition reaction. In fourth option, at para position nitro group is present. This nitro group is electron withdrawing group. Electron withdrawing group withdraw electrons from benzene ring by inductive effect as well as plus R effect. Due to which magnitude of positive charge on carbonyl carbon atom increases and nucleophile can easily attack on that carbon atom. It means we may conclude that electron withdrawing group increases the reactivity while electron donating group decreases the reactivity of carbonyl compound. So in this way the correct option is fourth one. Next question is question number 89. Identify Z in the sequence of reaction. Here sequence is given. Bute 1 in reacts with HBr in presence of hydrogen peroxide to give a compound Y which when treated with C2H5ONA product formed is Z. In this question we have to identify Z. It means we have to consider the chemical reaction going on. So let us see what is the reaction which is taking place here. The initial compound is CH3, CH2, CH double bond CH2. Addition of HBr is taking place in presence of hydrogen peroxide. When it is organic peroxide, then reaction takes place by anti off rule. But here the given peroxide is inorganic peroxide. So reaction will take place according to Morconikoff rule resulting the product formation which is CH3, CH2, CH, CH3, Br. So Morkonikov addition will take place and this compound will be obtained. This is the compound Y. When this compound Y is treated with C2H5ONA, then nucleophilic substitution will take place and bromine will be replaced by alkoxide group which results in the formation of ether having the structure like this. CH3OC2H5. It means the option or the compound Z must have this structure. If we are going to this consider this structure, so correct option is the fourth option and this will be the correct answer of the question. So students now we are going to discuss the last question of today's paper that is question number 90. Which of the following organic compounds has same hybridization as its combustion product CO2? First option is ethene, second option is ethyne, third option is ethene and fourth option is ethanol. As we know carbon dioxide is a linear molecule in which carbon atom is present in sp hybrid state. So in the given four options we have to select in which case carbon is present in sp hybridized state. The first option is ethene, ethene is alkane and alkane it means carbon atom is present in sp3 hybrid state. Second option is given ethyne, ethyne is the simplest alkyne. C triple bond CH. Here carbon atom is bonded to one triple bonded carbon and another hydrogen atom. So both the carbon atom is present in sp hybrid state. So this is the option which is having same hybrid state of carbon as it is present in CO2. So correct option is second one. And this is the correct answer of the question. In case of ethene, this is alkene, carbon is present in sp2 hybrid state. While in case of ethanol, which is alcohol, carbon is present in sp3 hybrid state. So this is the only option, option number 2, which is having 2 sp hybridized carbon atom. 
So student, this was the last question of today's paper which is held today. That is AIPMT 2014 chemistry paper code P. Thank you.